Hello everyone. So today's question is, why do we get vertigo? Okay, and what can we do about it? So I have personal experience with vertigo. There was a time when I would stand and I would have this feeling that I'm falling backwards. Okay, and I had fallen two, three times, uh, you know, when I could not control, then I had fallen also. But it was a constant feeling that something is pulling me back and I was going back. Some people have different uh, experiences with vertigo. They might have nausea, vomiting, ear pain, uh, ringing in the ear, you know, something related with the ear. But why does it happen? Emotionally speaking, you can find the technical reasons on Google, okay? So I'm going to talk about the emotional reason behind vertigo. It happened to me because I was feeling unsupported. I was feeling that nobody understands my pain. I had full body pains that time, 24 hour pain. People had detected fibromyalgia. They have labeled it as something or some other thing, seronegative arthritis and whatnot, but they didn't have any cure for me. So when you don't have a cure and you label it as something, what does it mean? It means that you are not going to get support from anybody. That is what my mind understood. My mind said, nobody is going to help you. There is no help for you available. No one helps you. No one is there for you. No one understands you. And when my mind was you know, conjuring up this uh, liquid <laughs> you know, inside the brain, uh, the body started reacting in this way that it felt unsupported and it was always going backwards. So if that is the reason for you, you need to check this thought. You need to say that even though currently I feel unsupported, still I choose to love, accept, honor and respect myself deeply and completely. You can combine it with EFT. You can say, even though currently I feel unsupported, I feel no one loves me, no one understands me, no one is there as a support system for me. Still, I choose to love, accept, honor, and respect myself. And you can do all the EFT points like this under the arm, top of the head, like that. Okay? And you can keep saying the affirmation again and again. What it does is it changes the subconscious belief system that not being supported is bad for the body. So even if I'm not supported, it's okay. I can still move on in my life and do my things. And this vertigo problem will go away. The second reason why it happens, the second uh, thing that it could happen is because uh, there is a compression in the C7, right? So if the compression is there, then it means that you take on a load which is with, with which you feel overburdened. You feel overburdened, like a lot of responsibilities on you and you are not able to take care of it. So if that is the case, then again, you need to change this thought pattern, this thought that I have this responsibility that I'm unable to take care of, okay? You have to say that even though currently I have this huge responsibility I have so many responsibilities and I am feeling burdened by it. I'm feeling overwhelmed by it. Still, I choose to love, accept, honor, and respect myself. So validating whatever you are feeling takes away its power. You understand? It takes away its power. So when you say that even though I have all these things, still my life is going to be wonderful. Whatever thing you have made too big in your head, it will minimalize it. It will say it's okay. It's okay if I have so much job to do, so many things to do. It's okay. It's okay that I feel overwhelmed. It's perfect. And as you validate this, the effect, the power it has on you goes away. So, 
what are the points that you can do uh, i will tell you few things that came to me this has not been taught anywhere uh, this feels like it you know there is the energy system that runs in your body from left to right and from right to left and to make that sync happen between you the energy system that goes inside uh, in a spiraling fashion uh, if it goes properly then you always feel centered okay and you will not fall left right you will not have giddiness uh, ear pain and all those things so let's do this rub your palms very nicely and then place under the arms okay like this and breathe with a smile on your face see how it makes you feel when you hold yourself like this how it makes you feel another thing that you can do is actually press a little bit press breathe in and then press the thumbs breathe out then change six times here six times breathing in and out and then six times breathing in and out by changing the position of the hands my left hand is over my right hand right now earlier it was opposite after you have done this six times each time with each hand overlapping the other one then you can do the hook up the hook up is two fingers on the third eye and two fingers on the navel so when you do this it aligns your body and there is a there is a pathway in your body that runs from the top of the head to the bottom of the body to the tailbone and then from tailbone back to the head so that circuit has to be completely running in sync so we are syncing it right now right hand on the forehead and left hand on the navel okay left hand on the navel so breathe in and breathe out smiling smiling is very important and this will help you with the hook up with the circuit so how many times you have to breathe you have to breathe at least 21 times or for 1 minute okay that's it 